Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update of oil and natural gas. Uh, I'll give you my financial opinion and uh, we'll jump right in. Uh, again, I just want to remind everybody that uh, th the treasury yields jump after Fed's Powell hints a 50 basis point rate hike for next month and then everything sold off after that. So yeah, we've got some news and don't be afraid guys. Um, why shouldn't you be afraid? Why shouldn't you be afraid? Because the structural underpinnings of this market are super strong for all these. We are going to go higher in oil uh, and natural gas. Uh, natural gas will normalize closer to the world markets for natural gas prices. Uh, I don't know if that's $20 uh, MCF or $35 in MCF because that's where it is uh, overseas. Oil is going higher. Uh, that's for sure. And oil is very highly correlated with interest rates. Uh, so when interest rates usually go up, uh, oil goes up, or you could say interest rates follow oil higher. Uh, so ba basically, oil is a, a uh, measurement or gauge of inflation. Uh, that's what I've seen in the past, and we've got a breakout here. So let's, let's dive in here. Uh, we've got a break to the upside. We've got a, a, a rotation day or a, or a pivot day yesterday, and today we were up, even though everything sold off. We had higher interest rates. And higher crude oil. Uh, this looks good to go higher. It does. Looks good to go higher. Looking at some of the companies, uh, let's go to natural gas. Natural gas uh, was flat today, a uh, little bit of buying pressure, gap down, a little bit of buying pressure. I just drew this in here uh, kind of ad hocly. I, I don't know if this is going to be right. I'm just throwing it in there. <clears throat> and we'll see if this thing kind of gets some, some support where it's at. It very well could go lower. And this, this is a fictitious pattern that i'm just guessing what it's what it's doing uh xop getting more of a sell-off today it could pull back we're coming to the support area uh the support area if i can draw this thing a little bit cleaner the support area is somewhere in this range about there so that's the support area it's right on top of it uh, we'll see if we if we pull back if we pull back uh, this, in my opinion, would be another really good buying opportunity if it pulls back. I don't know if we'll get the pullback, but uh, we'll we'll see what tomorrow has in store for us. Uh, we've got SM Energy. It's pulling back. It's right on its support line. We'll see if the support line holds tomorrow. Uh, we've got CDV getting sold off today. Again, it's above its pattern. Everything's above the pattern, and the support's right underneath it. So we'll see if it hits this support line or if we blow through it back inside this pattern. Uh, the, the pattern would be somewhere kind of in this general vicinity down there. Crew Energy getting a little bit of a sell-off, but it's been pretty resilient through this sell-off. CPE still above the pattern. Everything's looking okay still. Uh, Athabasca Oil getting the bloody forehead, I call it. <laughs> uh, the bloody forehead is a continuation pattern usually, but uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, Recaf getting some life put back into it, break into the upside. Uh, I've been holding this thing for a long time, guys. I haven't done anything with it. Uh, this could go higher, lots higher. Uh, we got CPG selling off. Uh, I, we could do a little retest back to this uh, support line. We'll see what happens. Uh, Northern Oil and Gas getting more of a sell-off today. We could head back lower a little bit. Uh, but it all depends on what the money flows are doing. And right now, I mean, with, with interest rates going up, I think oil is going to go up with it. So we could have a short-term, very short-term pullback uh, and then followed by a, a move higher. Almost like, like this is all planned out for, for them to get our shares cheaper. But they're not going to get our shares. We're going to be buying, uh, in my opinion, in some area if this does pull back. At least I am. I'm going to be buying. Uh, that is not advice. Uh, Grant here, energy moving higher, but we got sold off today. Again, it's still above the pattern. Everything looks good. Uh, Tellurian getting the sell-off. We may have a little bit bigger... A little bit larger pullback in Tellurian uh, before heading up. Uh, Pedevco selling off today, just like the rest. Uh, Oasis selling off today. Uh, we could pull back a little bit more in Oasis uh, in the short term. We've got uh, CRK. CRK is putting in a bearish engulfing. This could pull back again. Um, hopefully it does. I'm going to buy more of this. Uh, I, I like this company quite a bit. I like how it's positioned uh, technically. Uh, SD pulling Pulling back, bearish engulfing could pull back a little bit more over the next couple of days in the short term. Uh, Ring Energy, we're above support, so hopefully we pull back to support. I would be a buyer of it again. Uh, 
Surge Energy, bearish engulfing could pull back in the short, short term. Uh, here's a, like, so this one here is a, a bearish engulfing too, that candlestick setup, and it pulled back to there. There's another setup and it could pull back, you know, like that or something and then go higher. Uh, something on the lines of that. Uh, Tamarack Valley Energy holding, still above its trend line, it's still holding. Uh, Crescent Energy selling off a little bit, just like the rest. We've got Vermilion selling off. This could, I mean, guys, this could, I mean, this could come right back because it's news driven. Uh, but it is a bearish engulfing and it could head lower and we had a pretty good amount of momentum today. Uh, so it's, it's not fundamentally driven. It's driven by uh, interest rates and news. The interest rates is actually going to help these companies go higher, not hurt them. So short term wise, people get scared and they, I don't know, they, they, they sell out. Uh, Meg Energy still, hopefully we get the pullback. That's a, that's a strong company there. Uh, OIH, oil services selling off today like the rest of the crew. We'll see what happens tomorrow. This is at support. Uh, Tetra Technology selling off. It's at support. We'll see if it bounces it back up. Uh, looking at RIG. That's also trying to break to the downside based off news today. But I, again, I don't see how rate can go down in the medium to long term. Uh, we have to start drilling. And if we don't drill, oil's going, oil's going to moonshot. Uh, so I, I just, I don't see how these could stay down here. This is just a buying opportunity, in my opinion. Uh, pumps coming back. We, we may pump, we may get pumped down to uh, this support line uh, at best if it can get down there. Uh, EXTN. I mean, again, guys, it, this is all sell off today. Uh, with with the news, uh, Valera selling off a little bit. This could pull back a little bit. It looks like it was coming into some resistance up here anyway. Uh, MRM MMA offshore is looking actually really good to go higher. That looks strong. Tidewater getting the sell off today. Again, I I like all these if they pull back a little bit more. Uh, Next year, Ophel Solutions getting the the bearish engulfing with the news today. Uh, could go lower. KLXE a little bit lower perhaps. Again, I like it down here, guys. If we get down here, I. I like it on all these companies. Uh, CHX going back inside the pattern, unfortunately, today with that news. Uh, WHD, this is Cactus Energy selling off back to support. Uh, Nine selling off a little bit back almost to support level. Uh, OII selling off back below the support. We'll see if the support holds and it comes back up. I think it will. Uh, NE selling off a little bit today, bearish and golfing. Uh, HLX selling off today. Again, we're the pattern, it's in the pattern right now, but. This will hold. This is like a back test. I like HLX. CGG where Y selling off a little bit, just like everyone else. Petrofac moving sideways. Pretty strong. McCoy Global uh, heading up today. Red day, but it was up 3%. And then Diamond Offshore. Uh, come on back here, man. Come on back. Let's get back down here again. I want to buy some more shares. Give me your shares. Uh, and then Coal got absolutely hammered today. I mean, this, this, was, this was hammer fest over in Coal. Colang, just because it's more volatile. And that's good. I mean, it's good to be volatile. And, uh, you know, it, it's okay because that's how you make money. You got to be in what's volatile. And, uh, yeah, they, they sold off today. So, again, guys, I, I I don't know. I mean, I I'm not afraid for myself. I'm afraid for all of you people on the channel who watches every single day that you, I'm afraid that you'll get afraid. And you can't just, you can't be afraid with these days. Like, I'm I'm just sitting here like immune to it because they they do this on purpose almost like they'll, they'll come out they'll they'll try to be the Federal Reserve they'll be hard you know they'll, they'll be really hard or whatever they'll, they'll they'll talk really hard we're at like hard, the negative the real negative rates in the market right now are are atrocious they're absolutely ridiculous money's going to come rotating over and the faster they re increase these rates more money's going to rotate from bonds over into commodities and and oil and precious metals and all these other uh, ones that we're already in. Um, so there's no reason to be afraid. This is just, it's normal. That's what happened last bull market as well. They come out and say they're going to increase rates and this is what happens. Uh, but we have, we have this bull market's going to be bigger than the last one. Why? Because we have physical shortages of all these things. We are super tight in, in oil. And I'll show you in my next video how tight we are in oil and, and then, and then the, the drawdowns that we're having in oil. It's ridiculous. They are so screwed. And uh, what I'm using today, you know, with these pullbacks, I'm going to buy more. It's like, all right, if you're going to give me free shares or cheaper shares, I'll buy them. I will buy them. I'm going to load up on anything that I can get my hands on physically uh, and on companies 
that sell this stuff because we're coming into a structural deficit in oil. Like this is this is going to be a, a, a huge opportunity. And uh, if you're on my website, you know what my favorite companies are. Um, and I talk about those companies on the question and answer session. I tape those on video. Uh, you didn't miss anything if you haven't signed up yet. The Platinum membership gets you access to all those videos. You can rewatch those videos. You can see exactly what I say, the companies that I like, the companies that I'm buying, uh, and you can see all that. So I'm pretty, pretty open on this. And uh, I just hope that that everyone can can ride through this stuff. Uh, it's just volatility, guys. It's just volatility. Nothing structural has changed in the markets. Uh, and let's get through it together. Let's get through it together. Thumb up for the content. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the website if you want. And uh, we'll catch you next time. This is Finding Value.